Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. This is the tutorial I filmed for you guys today. It is very warm and pink and orangey and I love it and it's like a half cut crease and everything like that. Um, I did use some new lashes. These are the Pretty Fi Lashes. I will link their Instagram and website down below. If you want to know how to get this look, just keep watching. From the Morphe 35C, I'm going to take these two shadows right here as my transition shade. I'm just going to put that in my crease. And now I'm going to take that orange shade with the same brush. This is the Wet n Wild Crease Brush. And I'm just going to take it on the side of my brush like this instead of like dipping it in straight down. And I'm just going to push that into my crease because I don't want it too high like the transition shades are. But I still want that color to show so I'm just pushing that in there and going back and forth. And I'm going to take a mixture of those two shades and I'm just going to pack that on my outer corner. I just cleaned that up and now I'm going to take a little bit of that purple and just wing that out. We are going to do winged liner so it really doesn't matter like how clean or messy that is because you could always go back and clean it up again. So I'm using this LA Girl Pro Concealer and I'm just going to put some of that on the back of my hand. This is what the bottle looks like by the way. And with my M508, I'm going to do a half cut crease. And I am just going to set that with a cream colored shadow. And now I'm just taking some mixed glitter primer. It looks like this on that same brush. And all I'm going to do is just put that where I have the concealer. And I'm just going to let that dry for a second. And now I'm taking this Kaylin Just Mineral Eye Polish in the shade Orchid. And now I'm taking the transition shade and I'm going to clean that up. Okay, so now I'm using this e.l.f. liquid liner. This is just the black one. I always use this one. I'm just going to take this Milani spray. You could use it as a primer also, so that's what I'm going to do. For foundation, I'm using this CoverGirl Healthy Elixir foundation. I'm going to set my under eyes with this airspun powder. For bronzer, I'm just going to use the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I'm taking this shade from the Elf Plus. And for highlighter, I'm taking Oprah Bliss. This is what it looks like. It's so pretty. This is the e.l.f. pomade. Right now, I'm just taking the transition shades and the orange shade. And I'm just going to smoke that on my lower lash line. And I'm going to take that purple shade and just press that at the base of my lashes. Okay, and for lashes, I'm using these Pretty Fi Lashes in the style Lust, and this is what they look like. They're really, really, really pretty. Um, they sent me a few pairs to try out and everything like that, so I'm going to put this on. But for my lips, I did use this L'Oreal Infallible Paint in the shade Nude Star. Okay, guys, this is the completed look. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. Um, I do just want to talk about these lashes real quick. The brand that they sent me is Predify Lashes. And this is one of the boxes that it came in. They also have this box, which is just like a cardboard box. 
well they're both cardboard but this one's like has a magnetic closure and looks more um high-end per se and this one's just like a little cardboard box but I think they're good lashes I haven't tried these out I'll probably do that in my next video but these are the style lust and I love them but I will say that I like the lash hairs like I really like the lashes but the band um, the band they're really easy to apply but it, it feels kind of cheap like they're still like, like you can see the glue like on the lash band and everything like that like I don't know how to explain it but um Honestly, they are ex kind of expensive. I think these are $23. And, um, I mean, they're good lashes. Like, I like them. $23 is a lot of money. And they're not, like, the best quality. So, I would just say get, like, a higher-end pair if you're going to spend that money anyways. But I really do like these. And I'll probably still be using them. Um, they said you could use it up to 25 times. We'll see how that works out and everything. Yeah, that is it for this video, you guys. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.